But I'm getting paid. Of let us free Sheila so she doesn't get executed next Thursday. Or I wonder if it would be this Thursday. So let's free Sheila. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. So, the adventure continues. Alright, I'll talk to Moneybags after paying him in some of the levels because Moneybags is going to be a consistent thing inside this game. So, the first level we're going to be going to is Sheila's Alp. Normally, the animal friend levels only have three dragon eggs inside them, so we're not going to be getting too many dragon eggs, but later on we'll get more. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. All right. Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. No, Richard. Don't lie about number four. We don't talk about number four. We wish that one didn't exist. Anyway, now we are controlling Sheila the Kangaroo. Sheila is a little bit different from Spyro and is a new mechanic that was added into the game in the form of animal friends. We're gonna be having four different playable characters other than Spyro inside the game. And what are her controls? Use the analog stick to move her around. You can double jump with Sheila by hitting the X button twice. You can kick with the square button. You can also kick with the circle button. And one thing I forgot to do is if you go into the uh, first person mode by holding the triangle button, you can aim around. And with Spyro, you can actually aim different shots. Now, Sheila has another neat trick. Richard, I hate to say this, but you have a bad taste in Spyro games. But anyway. Okay, how do you... There we go. If you hit the X button at the right time when coming down on the ground, you can end up doing a, a high jump, which is very dandy and very helpful. But I need to remember the timing for it. So this is going to be getting a little... Get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double jump. Once you've met. Yes, the double jump. I just explained that. Anyway, uh, Dragonfly is not art. Dragonfly is a rushed game that is honestly the black sheep of this series because it has an unstable frame rate and is the only one of the few games that actually gives me a migraine when I play it. But let's talk to Billy. 
Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. And it's Ruby. A white dragon. White dragons are the rarer ones, and they generally have the unique animations. Yeah, Arthur, I... I know. They just revealed the... Um, red pony glyphs. And... Yeah. The next arc is really good. It rhymes. Not... The only thing I really don't like about Sheila is the fact that... Oh, Richard. How delusional you are. Hit. Take that moose. Right. No need to be sad about it. Like Sergeant Bird the best. Um, personally, I like Bentley the best. He's always been one of my favorite ones because I just love the way, how, like, educated he is. And I should mention I am gonna be cheesing the Bentley mission later in the game with the boxing by plugging in another controller. So yeah, we are going to be cheesing that something fierce because screw doing that legitimately. Especially if you're going after the skill point. All right, 300 gems. There should be 400 total inside this level. So there you go. Hey Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Alright. So, Jenny. Oh, I can't talk to you again. Uh, the cheat for the boxing, Richard, is if you end up plugging in a second controller, the Yeti will be unable to move, and the second player controls that Yeti. So you can actually have a fun boxing match, or in most cases, you could end up uh, completely destroying the challenge of the game. The only thing I don't like about Sheila is that sometimes she feels like she's very hard to control. Boop. Boop. Nope. Get, get the booby. That's what that is because it's got blue feet. Believe me, I didn't know that growing up either. I barely found that out and remembered it uh, not too long ago. That. A lot of Rhinox. That all the Rhinox? Nope, that's not all the Rhinox. I've still not beat a Hero's Tail. I've still not gotten that far in Hero's Tail either. That's gonna be probably the next Spyro game I stream since I did say since I did buy that specifically to stream it. Okay, get a life. Honestly, Blink the Mole. I have gotten far enough to where I've played with Blink the Mole. Not a big fan. Oh, there's 500 gems inside this stage. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. Is Spyro 4 like Sonic 06? Yes, in the sense that it's broken, the story is bad, and the game is was rushed out the door. Okay. Right, going up. I am missing one gem. Let's see where that gem is. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. Does it have terrible flat voice acting? Yes. Sweet. That's 400 out of 400 gems. Okay, so it was 400 gems. I would just forget that my gem total uh, carries over. So, let's talk to Thanks Bobby. For the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. And it's Nan. Now, one thing you can do that is actually extra dialogue that I don't know why they put this in the game. You can go out the portal that will always appear at the end of the stage. Or you can go over back to the entrance portal for the world and get unique dialogue that is inside the game. So let's listen. Was fun. I tell you, Spyro, kicking Rhinoc butt just never gets old. So we're gonna leave the level. Goodbye, Spyro. I'm sure I'll see you around. Oh, we'll definitely be seeing each other around because every single animal friend has at least two to three um missions inside some of the worlds. So you're gonna be using them a lot. I think the one who has the least is Bentley. Because I know Sheila's got, counting her world, we play as Sheila three times in the game. I think it's three times. But the reason why I did Sheila's out first is because there's a Sheila mission inside of our first main level of the game, Sunny Villa. All right, welcome to Sunny Villa. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Uh-oh, Rhinox have invaded, huh? Well, we better stop them. This is also the first world in which you can actually end up getting a skill point. The skill point being you have to burn all the trees that are inside the potted plants. <laughs> And as you can see, we've returned to enemies having gems again instead of the uh, having their souls used to power our machines, like an Avalar, which is dark. Rhinox. That's what these enemies are called. They're called Rhinox. Pretty sure the Ronix invaded. Uh, no, I will not be going after the skill points, just like I didn't go after the skill points in the last live stream of a Spyro game, because it's just time consuming, and believe me, I'm not gonna get a game over in this game. I don't think I've ever gotten a game over in a Spyro game. One second, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I am back. So, uh, my mother had actually gotten some caviar yesterday, and she just found an imitation caviar that tastes exactly the same that was 
uh, about 95% cheaper. Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you like this, that means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Thank you, Zoe. Right, let us keep going around. So many gems to collect. Was the caviar good? Yeah, the caviar was decent and tasted kind of like butter, to be quite honest. Okay, so let's free Vanessa. Uh, if the Wii U battery inside the gamepad is dead, you could actually replace it with the Nyko one, which extends the battery life. I think it's like 34 bucks or so. Well, question, did you buy the Wii U used or did you buy it new? Because if it's new, then that's a very much a rarity. I've... Um, when it comes to the Wii U gamepad, you can end up replacing the battery. Uh, Amazon, eBay, those are your best bets for the Nyko battery. Okay, let us grab this. New from a Best Buy. Um, are you sure that it's just the gamepad's not uh, charged at all? Because the gamepad needs to be charged. Okay, Miles. Was the Splatoon one? Again, did you charge the gamepad? Because you can, you have to charge the gamepad. It was, the battery drains over time. But then again, if you got a brand new, shouldn't have died. There is no Sonic Dragon, I'm afraid. I'm pretty sure there is in fan fictions and DeviantArt, but I don't go to DeviantArt for many reasons. Now for something else dark. And so the chicken died, resulting in him being eaten and turned into a giant drumstick. It was plugged in. Yeah, see, I that's very weird, Arthur. I would try replacing the battery with the Nyko one um, that you can get off of Amazon and eBay. And if that doesn't work, return it if it's still new because, because you might have gotten a faulty one. I mean, I've gotten a faulty console from Best Buy before. I got a faulty PS4. Uh, in the past from them. So... Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Sanders! Ah, oh, the colonel. And he does the chicken dance. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. Got it about a year ago. Um. Well, then that. Well, try the Nyko battery thing. If not, then. I'd honestly set up a repair with Nintendo for it. We show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. Sure you would have. Minions. Ah, uh, the Minions franchise. This Rhinoc is too big to charge. 
Zoe, there's no Rhinoc there. Did you forget your glasses again? All right. So let's go and do the Sheila mission. I'm surprised you don't own a small screwdriver. Then again, my father's a carpenter, so maybe I take that for granted at times. So there's a plethora of tools around my house a lot of the time. So let's go inside right here. Hey, Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. I hate that the sound clips out near the end. Alas, I have lost to my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Sure, I can rescue her for you. Whoop. Whoop. Froggy. All right. Boop. You have a small... You have a small Phillips. Boop. Yeah, Phillips flathead. Okay. And go up. a door above one of these. It's this one. Okay. Boop! Go down here. to controlling in this game. It just seems weird that the gamepad's not working. Um, I think Steven Universe was one of them? I don't know for certain. I'm actually curious about this myself. And here we are at the top of the tower. What? Marco sent you here? I've got a restraining order against him. 
Aether, it did, but I don't know if some writers quit because of fan fictions. Uh, again, I'm curious about that. Also, Steven Universe goes on hiatus about as much as, uh... How'd you get it to work, Arthur? Oh, the plug was not charging. It was Steven Universe. Okay, I I was correct about that. Well, the thing is, though, that was more not fan fiction. That was more just being upset that people were shipping. And honestly, people ship anything. Look. A chicken turned up. I hope it's not the only one left. Well, I hate to tell you this, but it's a rooster.